This is Twit. Uh, all right, let's talk AI. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> yeah, so you might have heard about this little Microsoft a- open AI partnership. It's- so this is, to me, this was the lead story. Stargate, man. Stargate. Stargate Plus, it showed that Microsoft was perhaps relaxing its grip on open AI. Yes. See, I, don't really, I don't see it that way. Hmm. I, I think of this more like... The, the the part I, I think the important part here is that M- Microsoft gains access to OpenAI's technology. Everybody understands that OpenAI exclusively to date has been on Microsoft's uh, Azure cloud. Yeah, was the original deal. Yep, but Microsoft is one of the few companies that could even afford or even attempt to yeah. try to host their stuff. It's who, who it. yeah, but there's it's, Oracle, right? That's who the other right, guys. but but I mean, the, the, but this is so rare and so hard to do that there really aren't too many other places for this company to turn. Microsoft has struggled to meet the needs of OpenAI. Sure. So Microsoft and, and, also, sorry. and by Oracle you mean Amazon? He said Oracle, but I oh, yeah. wait, oh well, wait a minute, it, Oracle. It doesn't matter who Oracle, Amazon, Google, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Well, but, I would be more afraid of AWS and Google if I'm Microsoft than I am of Oracle. All right, but so right. Microsoft makes some percentage of everything. Oracle's a big partner in this Stargate thing. I don't see those other guys. Okay, Microsoft makes some. Uh, I, we don't know, but twenty percent, I think, is the thing we've that's been reported of whatever revenues that OpenAI makes. Microsoft pays for the infrastructure that this company uses, and it's not profitable. It's really yeah. expensive. Do so you think they so want to get could, out of it? Nope, but I think if they could move part of it to yeah. uh, other clouds, uh, they'll still make money, and it will ease up their own infrastructure. I mean, this is kind of a win-win, <laughs> you know? Plus, I, I well, I guess the I think I said this to you earlier, Richard, uh, this morning. Like, I, I, The one thing that's kind of weird about this is OpenAI in using other clouds will start to have an idea of where each of them is good, bad, and different, whatever, right? Sure. So it might be kind of interesting uh, if they're like, actually, man, we should have went with Google, you know, or whatever, like whatever it might be. Um, well, one of it was, wasn't one of the stipulations on this is we, only if Azure can't provide capacity. Yeah, they have a right of first refusal. Right. Yeah. So I wonder if they didn't present the Stargate proposal to Azure. Right. And they said, that, yeah, you know, we really, okay. you, We're good. we really want to run your Oracle stuff on our thing. You go run it wherever the heck you want, but not here. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't. I. We, we all know they're careening toward not being partners on some day, yeah. right? Um, but th- I also feel like OpenAI is going to be as much of a relief to lose <laughs> as it was a boon to get. You know that so that if they end up going or just splitting their time and resources between different companies. That from Microsoft's perspective, it's going to be not happen quickly enough. So I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really see this as that huge of a deal. Okay, I do. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it is another step on the path. I think yeah. the huge deal is this. Uh, so Microsoft is joining with OpenAI. Uh, Larry Ellison uh, mm-hmm. is also on the stage there uh, to create this. And and Sunson of Mas- Masayoshi Son of uh, of SoftBank, yeah, uh, to create this. Now there there are people who are saying who are skeptical, including by the way, ironically Elon Musk who says, "I don't know what they're talking about." Uh, SoftBank doesn't have more than ten billion dollars. Uh, I've seen a larger number, like thirty billion. But the commitment is to a hundred billion this yeah. year and five hundred billion over the next four years, which is by the way an important number. That's how yep. long Trump's going to be in the White House. Well. <laughs> According Sorry. to the Constitution, anyway, that's how long Trump's going to be in the White House. So uh, this is a deal that is a big win for the Trump administration. Sure, but I think is also more. Well, I don't know. That's my. I mean, that's my question. This, I to me, this is a fascinating. What they're going to do is build a giant data center, uh, and they're going to go after AGI, and they're going to spend a lot of money doing yeah. it. So it, t- and it takes a couple of years to build a data center. So. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, four I years is a, is a fast time. Microsoft line. is, uh, in this fiscal year, of which they're three quarters of the way through, spending $100 billion, I'm sorry, $80 billion on uh, just AI infrastructure okay. of, the, of their own. I mean, so... So this could... So, and I, there is there yeah. is some sentiment this is just a, a silly political statement. It has nothing to do with reality. Well, and it might be. And it could right. be. But I also think uh, it's interesting. Yeah. 
It is. It, it's interesting, but I, I just don't think it, I don't think it's going to have any immediate impact, if any. Well, uh, and it's one thing to raise a hundred billion dollars to go build a city center. It's nothing to find the location, actually start construction, and also right. have enough power and water to right. operate it. Yeah. Well, that's Hopefully why maybe it's not it's not realistic. Yeah, I'll be right. in Arizona where there's lots of water, right? Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, nothing contested there. Um, I don't know. We'll see. All right. They should I just thought that was very Mexico, interesting. The and this and the Microsoft sub note is that this is kind of an opening of Microsoft's what has been previously. But I think it, I think it benefits Microsoft because I don't. I think they're yeah, tired of shouldering the load here yeah you know i'm sure open ai is throwing proposals at microsoft all the time for other things they want to do on Azure. Yeah, and it's like guys what you know there's physical limits to what we can do yeah. and we're the only company that can do what we're already doing yeah you know well it's like we also notice they're not talking about building their own data center yeah that's right that's right i mean if this was just open ai they wouldn't be able to do this i oh no 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 this is this is but it's big big names big money yeah, no, no, I know. But if OpenAI, uh, the reason is OpenAI couldn't do this right. by themselves. Right? Remember, also, uh, President Trump negated Biden's executive order on AI safety, basically right. saying, hey, don't worry about safety. Let's go full speed ahead. His administration is very well, clearly is, of course, this is all why about AI, tech. right? Yeah. Well, they're uh, definitely embracing big tech in general. Yeah. You know? That's because of Elon's uh, influence, but David Sachs is in there running the cyber czar of uh, AI yeah. and and uh, Bitcoin. Sure. Um, I I just think it's very interesting. Um, oh, we have the what? What no, are you looking? Of, I see you looking at each other. What are you thinking here? One of one of our concerns doing this outside here is that somebody would start power washing the side of the oh, building. I don't hear it. I don't hear okay. it. Are okay. you getting misted? Gently misted? No, 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 no. It's. But there's some, I don't know, it sounds like a There's vacuum. some kind of machine, but it, it may be gone in a minute, too. Yeah. That's okay. We hear parades going Paul's by Paul's house in Mexico City. It's That's normal. True. This it's, is all normal. Money. Right. It's a, Mexico's a party. Let's just face it. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. Earthquakes, power washing, parades. <laughs> could, any of the above. <laughs> yes. The three pillars of the Mexico three. society. Big three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, I, I'm not trying to poo-poo this. I just think in the context of Microsoft, it's like, yeah, you know, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. I think. Okay. I I, yeah. I think that we're going to watch what happens, and we'll, we'll cover this in a greater detail. I'm trying to get some experts on uh, intelligent yeah. machines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, right. AI generally, or just from um, U.S. versus China kind of competitive thing, et cetera. It's, it's, yeah, I'm sure it's a big deal, I, but from Microsoft's perspective, I think people are looking, oh, is this mean you know, like their relationships coming to, you know, unwinding? And it's like, I don't know. I don't really, this is, this seems normal to me, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. 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 AI is one of those things where it's so funny. Um, it's hard to have a real opinion. Is yeah. it BS? Is it real? Is it going to change the world in two minutes or is it going to just fade away? Mm -hmm. And it's just really hard to know. Yeah, I think all of those things may be true. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, if you were to go back to, I don't know, let's call it 1990, WordPerfect was selling their product where they had one floppy disk for the app and 12 floppy disks for all the printers. For the drivers. Yeah. The drivers, right? <laughs> and then you could buy like a third-party spell checking module or whatever they called it. And you were like, and people were like, I think spell checking is just going to be built into word processors. And they were like, I don't know if that's going to happen. That sounds like crazy. That, why would that even work? I mean, do we talk like that? I don't know. I mean, I, <laughs> I feel like I, I, I think AI, I think AI is a big deal. But I, all, you know, we've talked about this. I think it's just a thousand needles of yeah. It's just a UX extension. Yeah, eventually, it's it, it, makes, it makes everything better. Yeah, I mean, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. And there are certain workflows that are interesting. I mean, the news headlines are getting really creative. I mean, you know, it's it's good. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, yeah, from from my sort of Microsoft prism, I would just say it's fascinating to me that Microsoft is literally betting the company on this, where they yeah. Gates used that term a hundred times, and never yeah. meant anything, and now they're not even really saying it. It's like, no, you're betting the company on this. Yeah, is a lot I mean, of money. He bet, he bet the company on the internet and went full barn, and it worked out just fine. What he never did was bet the company on something that didn't succeed ultimately. That's true. And this and the pivot to the cloud was a big deal, right? Putting Windows from the center of the company elsewhere after 30 years, that's huge. Yep. 
this is Satch's play. Yeah. I think he might be overdoing it, but I get what he's doing. And the, and right now there's no downside because nobody's holding his financial feet to the fire. Right. This I'm, company had so much cash, I, I all it could do was buy back stock. Yeah. The fact that it's investing it in anything. Now they have something yeah. to put that money into. Yeah. Exactly. And they're being aggressive. You know, they're they're and I, I I don't like how chaotic it is, but I have to say this is Microsoft being aggressive is something I've grown very uncomfortable with. It's been yeah, a no, while. We, it's been a long time. Yeah. Well, and I think um, in the in general, it's a good thing when you get all these companies involved. Stargate is OpenAI, Microsoft, SoftBank, Oracle, yeah, uh, so MGX, clear, which is a big investment. Uh, is the firm, parent company of ARM, ARM right? yeah, Nvidia, and and the president all kind of saying, "Hey, let's let's go after super intelligence." Yeah, I don't know if they're doing that. I think politically, I think this is about beating China. And from yeah, the perspective which is of fine. Big I don't tech, mind beating China. Like, Let's beat China. No, every, no everyone agrees on that. <laughs> but I mean, it, but the, the big tech rallying around this administration is really about no more regulations, take off the shackles, mm -hmm. and let right. us just eat un, unfairly to beat the put, rest of the world. Put, put your foot metal to the pedal to the metal, and let's yep. go. So you know, yeah, I'm not against say, it. Yeah. I'm, they yeah. say they're building the build out has already begun in Texas. That's where they're okay. going. It's in Abilene. It's a big data center in Abilene. Okay. So they're um, taking over an existing data. Set. It's Oracle's, yeah. Oracle's, yeah. Oracle's been building this. That'll help. That'll that'll get them going sooner. As long, as, yeah. of course, they're in Texas, so that means their electricity will be very unreliable. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to need a pocket nuke right next door. Is what they're going to need. Yeah, if only one existed. Well, Bill Gates has those uh, that natrium things going. Maybe yeah. he can get that uh, liquid sodium. He does not even have the license to actually no. build the nuke. I know site. NRC has not approved it. Just. No, just the state says, well, you can break ground, but uh, yeah, no, they, to... they're allowed. They're allowed to build the turbine island, the right. part that would make electricity. They're not allowed to build the nuclear island. Right. Yet. Yeah, that was the news last week. Yeah, that's ten years away. Then, yeah, really. So Microsoft's press release did say Microsoft and OpenAI evolve partnership to drive yep. the next phase of AI. It's evolving. Now they. OpenAI started asking for crazy stuff, and we said, "Go do it with somebody else." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, yeah. Italy and Germany's relationship was evolving in the early days of World War II. I mean, I, what's <laughs> it's the, an you evolving. Know, it's um, yeah, but who's going to be Czechoslovakia in this? Yeah, that's the question. Right. I don't. I don't. It's it's it's. Boy, I'd hate to be trying to navigate this right now. You know, I'd hate to be yeah. a Satya trying to figure yeah. this. No, this is happening oh, in real time. That's yeah. what's amazing about this. It is. It's just it's so fast. We thought it was crazy when they fired and hired Sam Altman in two days. <laughs> yeah. Well, we and Dark Satya showed up for the first time. And Dark Satya said, glowing eyes. "You may not Fix this now." Yeah. Fix I still don't right think now. this is as big a deal as Mark Penn and Google the uh, Scroogled campaign. But you know, whatever. We, I, I can do. <laughs> put it in perspective. Dudes, I'm just telling you, PCs are dying. You need to find a new beat. I'm just saying. AI. Well, yeah, and cloud growth is easing and cloud. off, right? Like, is it easing that's off? Part of the really? problem is that the, oh. the timing on this was impeccable. Yeah, interesting. That was finally the they got point, something to right? use when all the AI of these. announced making was when they were about to say, "Hey, our rate of growth on cloud is starting to go." Yeah, totally. Yeah. It's perfect. It's really interesting. They, they have incentives other than actually ushering a new era of compute.